Guten Tag, Alla. Today we're going to talk about uh, being able to determine the gender of German nouns. In general, you just have to memorize the gender of a German noun when you learn it, but uh, today I just want to try to give you a few tips uh, so that you can guess with a greater degree of accuracy. So, for example, for der words or masculine nouns, these are days of the week, months and seasons, uh, all those dare for the most part, points of a compass or directions, uh, any male being, for example, der Leo or der Vater, uh, words that end in the following suffixes, ich, ling, ich, us, ismus, as, er, and en, ner. Most of these will be der, not all of them. Uh, a lot of weather terms are der, but not all of them. Uh, a lot of names of rocks and minerals, uh, mountains and lakes, uh, alcoholic drinks normally are der, and also the names of cars and trains. For D or feminine nouns, 90% of the words that end in E will be feminine, so for example, die Landkarte or die Kreide, uh, female beings such as die Tochter or die Frau, and words with the, the following suffixes, ong, heit, kite, tate, i, e, schaft, in, zion, or ik, the, a large percent of these are going to be d, and then numbers. Okay, and finally for das words, uh, words that end in shen or line, uh, letters, most countries with some exceptions, and cities, words that end in it, ment, um, ich, tum, tel, nis, zal, uh, Ninety percent of the words that begin with GE will be DAS words, chemical agents, young animals and people, um, and for example DAS baby, most metals and fractions. Another thing to remember is if it sounds like English, um, for example hotel, it's probably a DAS word, DAS hotel, another example DAS taxi. So here we're going to try just some examples based on what I've just gone over. So if you had a word like Freundschaft, you would guess D because it ends in Schaft. So a good guess is to say D, D Freundschaft. Vier, uh, when it's a number, it's normally feminine. So the four, you don't often say this, D vier. Sommer, uh, this is a Jahreszeit or season. So those are going to be masculine. Der Sommer, der Winter, der Frühling, der Herbst. Hotel, like I said, if it sounds like English, probably das. Freunden. Uh, whenever uh, it ends in IN, it's good bet it's a D word. This is very true in occupations, for example, Sekretärin or Lehrerin. So these are all D. Buddha, of course, this is a male being, so it's der. Juli, it's a month, so months, days are der. Stein, this is a mineral or a stone, der. Ecke. It's a word that ends in E, so it's a good bet, 90% probability, that it's D. There are always exceptions. One of the most uh, common ones is Das Auge. Gesetz, this is a word that begins with GE, and in most cases, those will be Das words. Regen, uh, most weather terms will be der, and this one also ends in EN, which is another uh, strong indicator that it could be a der word. Tochter, is a D word. Even though this ends in ER, and you might originally think you have to go with the meaning here instead of uh, going with the suffix. Hunchen, so like a little puppy, a small animal. Anytime you see shen, it's the dimin diminutive form, so this means that it's smaller. In most cases, this is a das word. Wagen, der, most cases, it's a der word. Uh, information, Zion, uh, whenever you see that Zion, that's a good indicator that it's a D word. Mai, again a month, it's masculine, der Mai. Blitz, a weather rate related term, der, there are some exceptions there. Uh, Schere ended in E, in E rather, so that's, you're thinking D there. Hindernis, when a word ends in Nis, it's a good bet that it's a Das word, Das Hindernis, Das Finsternis, for example. Vodka is a dare word um, in alcoholic drinks, mostly dare, masculine. BMW, das ist der BMW. Okay, okay, das war's. Ich hoffe, dass das ein bisschen geholfen hat. But you must memorize these. Good bet. I know it's a lot, but try. Wiedersehen.